Hey everybody, this is Geo Joe here today with a new product announcement, which is the GV Cloud Cloud Video and Access Control Solution. GeoVision just recently released our Cloud Video and Access Control Solution that provides users an ease of use installation and way for them to be able to easily manage and view their cloud video and access control in a web browser. I want to use this video just to illustrate the different ways that you can achieve a cloud solution with a GeoVision option. So first to get into the different options that you have for GeoVision's cloud solution, option number one would be to still have an on-site VMS server and you can view your live video as well as playback video in the cloud. This makes a nice solution because you do not have to have port forwarding done on the network and you do not have to install any programs on your remote PC where you'd like to remotely view. You simply open up a web browser, log in with your credentials, and you're able to view both live video as well as playback recorded video from the VMS server right through a web page. Option number two with the VMS server is you can choose to pay monthly and record some cameras into the cloud. If you're concerned about redundancy and you want to record to both the VMS server as well as have some cloud backup, this is an, a great option for that type of scenario. You can choose certain cameras to record to the cloud and you would pay monthly depending on what resolution you would like to record at. Now with this setup, you're going to need a VMS server, a PoE switch, and then any IP camera. It can be a GeoVision IP camera or third-party IP cameras. And of course, when using third-party IP cameras on GeoVision's VMS, you have a one-time license fee. Option number two with the GV Cloud solution we would be to utilize a GV Cloud bridge. In this scenario, you have no on-site VMS server to maintain, and instead you would utilize a GV Cloud bridge device as shown in the top left-hand corner of this slide. This is a small device. It's about the size of a deck of cards and it allows you to connect your cameras into a PoE switch, connect the GV Cloud Bridge into a PoE switch, and then connect that switch into the network and point it all up to the cloud website. In this scenario, you have no Windows-based server to maintain, so you don't have to deal with Windows updates, you don't have to deal with VMS software updates. It simplifies the installation for less hardware to maintain, and allows you to view in the cloud with no port forwarding required. With the GV Cloud Bridge solution, you have two options of how you can record your video. Option number one is you can connect a USB hard drive to the Cloud Bridge, and you can record directly to that USB hard drive. When doing this, there is no monthly fee for viewing in the cloud. You can view live video and playback video in the cloud, free when you're using a optional USB hard drive that you're connecting to the bridge. Now, this will support both GeoVision cameras as well as any third-party OnVIF camera. However, there is a benefit to utilizing the GeoVision AI embedded cameras with the CloudBridge solution. And that benefit is the fact that you can set up the analytics activity to record in the cloud. For example, if you don't want to record every motion event, such as a tree blowing in the wind or shadows on a parking lot, you can set up things like intrusion alarms or entering or leaving area analytics, and you can have those record into the cloud to have a more intelligent-based solution. This is achievable with GeoVision AI embedded analytics cameras. Option number two is you can pay monthly and you can truly record in the cloud. This gives users the ability to store their video in a cloud website where you would pay monthly and you can record in resolutions of 360p, 720p, 1080p, or 4 megapixel. Currently, 4 megapixel is the highest resolution that is supported. And when you're using this model, you have the cloud bridge, a PoE switch, the camera, go straight into the network, and then you can record into the cloud at those resolutions. Now, I do want to talk about how many cameras can be supported per bridge. There is a limit. This illustration shows, depending on what resolution you want to record your cameras at, that will dictate how many cloud bridges you will need and how many cameras can be supported per bridge. When recording your cameras at 720p, you can have four cameras per cloud bridge. When recording at 1080p, three cameras. And re when recording at 
four megapixel, you can have two cameras per cloud bridge. So this is just something to keep in mind whenever you are designing your project and determining how many bridges you will need, as well as how many open PoE ports you will need on your PoE switch. The third option that will be coming soon from GeoVision are a line of direct-to-cloud IP cameras. The GV-CEBF4911 is just one example of the camera models that we will have in this series. And this simplifies it even further to where you do not need a VMS server on site. You do not need a cloud bridge. All you will need will be the camera, a PoE switch, plug into your network, and then you can go straight up to the cloud. With this solution, you can put a SD card in the camera for local recording, as well as purchase cloud storage if you would prefer. And you have the ability to record both to the camera itself, as well as have that cloud backup. This illustrates the three initial cameras that we will release in the cloud IP camera series. You have two turret cameras and one dome camera, all of which are outdoor rated. The GV-GEB4900 is a four megapixel fixed 2.8 millimeter turret camera. The GV-GEBF4911 is a four megapixel motorized 2.8 to 12 millimeter turret camera that has a white light LED built in, as well as a built in mic and speaker. And then lastly, the GV-GDR4900 is a four megapixel fixed 2.8 millimeter dome camera. This is the line of cloud cameras that will be coming out sometime in Q3 of 2023. Now, cloud access control is another feature that is available with the GV cloud solution. And with the cloud access control solution, it will support the GeoVision AS1620, which is our one door controller, the GV AS2120, which is our two door controller, and the GV AS4111 kit. It currently does not support our eight door controller, but it does support the three controllers that I just mentioned. With the GV AS1620, you can plug it directly into your network with the latest firmware and go straight up to the cloud. This allows you to have no on-site PC running the GeoVision AS Manager software anymore. You're able to manage everything through the cloud website for simplicity. Now with the AS2120 and the AS4111, you can also connect them to the cloud, but you need the GV-AS bridge that is pictured on this slide. That gives those two controllers cloud connectivity and again, allows them to be managed in the cloud. You can do a combination of both. If you have some scenarios where you wanna have an AS1620 going straight to the cloud, you can do that, as well as incorporate some of the other controllers with the AS bridge. You can use any GeoVision access control reader with these control panels and then send them up to the cloud. And you would have a monthly fee per door associated with this solution. Now, you have two options of purchasing the cloud access control solution. Option one is to just pay monthly and record the access control card data into the cloud website. So no snapshot included, no video snapshot. Option two is you can pay for both the access control data as well as the video snapshot where you will get 365 days of snapshots plus the access control data stored and viewable in the cloud. This has been a quick rundown of the GeoVision GV Cloud Cloud Video and Access Control Solution. For further information on our product line, please check us out at www.geovision.com.tw/us. Thanks a lot for watching.